Hi guys. Yeah. I should have a beer here, really, shouldn't I? Yeah. Not been given a beer yet. Forget you one. How long since the final whistle? Not had a beer. So let's go and get you one. Yeah, please. Okay. Hang on. Thank you. Thank you, James. Cheers. Fire away while I get the guy in there. Thank you, Stu. Top man. Congratulations. Uh, I know you've seen the picture that Tom's dad yeah. tweeted tonight. Is there a band that will visit Tom tonight? I've said to Carlton when we were out on the pitch when Carlton was speaking to him on the phone, if we can, then we will. I don't want to like, get in the way, and if I'm not allowed, then I won't. But if I'm allowed, then I would love to, to go and see him. Um, but then I think, that, you know, we're, as a group, we're so tight. I'm not sure 40-odd people are allowed to go and see, um, and see someone in hospital. So we'll have, to, we'll have to check on that. I'm just so thankful that he's OK, because that's all that matters. And that's what I wasn't really able to enjoy any of the celebrations at the end, because all I cared about was, was Lux. Can, can you just give us an idea of the state of mind in the dressing room at half-time, and whether you'd have to pick some players up whether they weren't meant to be ready to build that time? Uh, the staff were really, were really good and, and made sure that they said that he's OK and, you know, he's speaking and, and everything else, and we were able to sort of try and calm everyone down. I made sure the first thing I said was the same thing and backed that up and um, and then it was a case of then, you know, business and focus and we're doing it for locks. That, that was the message. Um, and, you know, I know it was really, really tight. Thank you very much, Stu. That's my round. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Um, yeah, it, it, was, it was a case of doing it for him. And, I'm, and again, yeah, I know it was tight and in the end it was just, it was, there's nothing in the game, I know that. And I've got to say, when I'm on it now, like, you know, what Mark Robbins has done with that football club is incredible. And I know I've spoken about this in the in the pre stuff. I couldn't have done that. What he's done, the way he's got the club from League Two to the verge and, and to that close of being in the Premier League, you know, he's built them right back up. His players, his staff, he, you know, everyone deserves a heck of a lot of credit there. And, I'd have been saying that if we'd have lost as well today, because he deserve, you know, they do deserve that, and it was that close. And it is one one of those days where it's it's a shame, especially with both clubs' journeys. It's a shame that someone had to lose today. I'm obviously delighted that that we won, but I do feel for them as well today. I just made sure that Carlton you I would relayed to him that I was there and and if we can we'll come and see him but we'll have to see but Carlton and Locks are really really close uh, it was important that Carlton knew and had spoken to him he was quite emotional at the time I've got not too much on it at the moment he collapsed um, but I've got no more detail on that at the moment so we'll be able to say more as and when I know more as well He's, in, he's, he's still having checks now. He's in hospital. He's got really good people looking after him. He's having tests now. So. I, I wouldn't want to say. I don't know. I would have thought so, yeah. Yeah. Well, in the main... Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> we had, you know, had a few weird months in the middle of it all, but apart from that, yeah, it's been great to win to win a league title with an amazing group of people at Forest Green was brilliant, and I thought things don't get much better than that, and maybe they do. Um, yeah, we, you know, we had the opportunity. I say we, myself and Richie Cardo came with me to Watford. We had, we had the chance to go a huge club. And just been in the Premier League themselves, you know, we made the decision to go and uh, unfortunately it didn't work out, but without that happening, I wouldn't be sitting here talking to you fine people now, so, you know, in the main, pretty, pretty good. But the one thing I will say is that the common denominator between Forest Green and, and Luton is really, really good people. Good plan, top players, honest people. And really lucky, proud to be working with them. I know it's early days, but you just hours into it. What kind of club are we going to be in the Premier League? Because everyone wants to be competitive, but it's 
Well, it's important, I think, because you know our, our board won't allow the club to ever be in the kind of position that we were in, you know, just over a decade ago. So we're not going to go mental. So what we're going to have to do is play to our strengths, which is what we've tried to keep doing since we've come in. So of course there'll be some changes and, and w there will be some recruitment. Of course we want to be competitive and we realise that there's going to be the biggest challenge ever. We get that. The best managers in the world are all in the Premier League. You've got the best players. It's it's. We know how tough it is. But <laughs> allow me to try and enjoy this night tonight, please, before answering that in more detail. I think we're going to we can enjoy next season as well. And what it does do, securing a promotion to the Premier League, it, it, it probably secures our club for a, a long, long time as well, because we will be sensible with, with how, we, how we go forward with it. I think, it, yeah, I think it will be. I know so much has been made of it, um, but it, that's our ground <laughs> right now at the moment, so deal with it. Um, and we've got to try and make it We've got to try and make it that way. It's it's helped us, I think, since we've been been in this last six months. It's been um, a real place of strength for us at home. The Kenny's a great place for us to go and play, and um, and we'll try and enjoy. What will it be? Nineteen Premier League games there next season. It's, it's incredible to say that. Yeah. Beer. Yeah, I'll see my family. Saw him a little bit when we when we got the trophy, which was lovely up there. See my family, um, but we've got to enjoy. We've got to try and enjoy this moment because you know it doesn't happen often. I just said it to some of the young lads then, like Joe Johnson, who's 17, who's part of the squad, who's made his, you know a couple of appearances this year for us at the back end of the season. I said, Joe, enjoy this. It doesn't happen often, you know, mate. Um, I'm really lucky to have been a, a part of four promotions now, and I've been in football for you know. 24 years like professionally so it, it doesn't happen loads and um, yeah we'll, we'll certainly enjoy it together tonight Do you think we should have had a penalty? I haven't seen that back yet but obviously it was VAR so I take it that no I take it was the right decision no, he, was booked for, he was booked for simulation which is unlike Jordan um, but I don't care now because he scored and he scored his penalty and we won so you know I'll enjoy it um, I'll enjoy the moment, but no, I haven't seen it back. It's it's unlike him to, if he did uh, go over easy, but you know, um, I haven't seen anyone since. I've just been talking to people, and since I haven't no, I haven't mentioned that at all. Yeah, <clears throat> the people have put their heart and soul into the club. Our board of fans, the fans of the club, means everything to them. And as I said before, they brought this club back from the, the brink. And uh, along with John Still, who got that promotion at the National League, and you know Nathan's work that he did, the promotions, Mick Harford, the recruitment team. There's so many people. There's too many people I can, to mention now. We've come in for the last six months, and it's almost like, oh, yeah, this is easy. You know, just keep it going. And it's because of a lot of the brilliant work that has gone on, Gary and the board, and as I say, the recruitment, the players just so proud you know for the lads for the fans because they've seen some dark dark times you know it's great that we can give them a really big smile yeah and of course after losing our, our best player after four or five minutes as well to recover from that seeing our locks went off um, I thought the lads showed a lot of mental strength and resilience and character and then went on and performed like that. You know, I do think we could have had two or three in that first half. We didn't. Uh, and obviously then they're right in the game. I thought they definitely had the first 25 minutes or so of the second half. Excuse me. And, um, and then got the equaliser and then it was pretty tight. But, you yeah, know, the performance in that first half, you know, in, on, this, on the biggest occasion, really, really, really pleased me. <laughs> Bloody VAR. I was off down there, I was off celebrating, what an idiot. Um, yeah, I thought that was going to come back to haunt me. Um, obviously it hit his arm and, and, and it doesn't get given, does it? You've got to get used to that now. Rob, Rob just um, on Nathan Jones, you know, social media can be very cruel. He kind of became a bit of a ridiculed figure with what happened to South Africa. But how much credit does he deserve? Loads. Loads. 
the, the position that he left the club in after 21 league games we were we were in the mix um, he's you know a, a huge part of the club's success over the last few years and him and his staff Alan and Chris and he's had other staff over the years but they deserve a lot of credit and I've said it hopefully in all the interviews that I've had you know they, they deserve a lot of credit he's really good at what he does and again we've been able to to try and keep that going and that's why we're sat here now Lots we've made about the club's journey from non-league to the Premier League. And you personally, when you were managing at Telford seven years ago, do you think that in seven years' time you'd be a Premier League manager? I think that was part of my journey. If you actually look at my last ten years, I've had loads of different experiences coaching now. Um, a lot of it at Championship level, uh, you know, international level, um, League Two, um, and so. Yeah, I just thought that was part of my journey. I wanted to, and there was a link there with Wolves at the time, so I felt like it was pretty safe to be able to go and do that as well. It was just a really good experience for me, great learning to go into a level that I didn't know much about. I learned a heck of a lot, didn't get much right, got it right towards the end. Um, so that definitely helped. And, and I suppose then some of the success that we had with Forest Green, I leaned a lot on that time at Telford. Um, so yeah I always had a lot of belief I think if you speak to people that have known me especially a lot of the work that I've done in the academy uh, especially at Wolves or with the FA you know I hoped they would speak highly of me but that was just something that I thought it was a risk I wanted to take to challenge myself and try and do something different well, Gary, if I can take you back to, to Tom and um, what happened can you explain to us your emotions at the time after the, after the build up I didn't know what had happened at the time and like I said I still don't fully know um, I just thought I could see him on the floor and not really moving so I just I was really concerned and I just thought right let's try and get the players away I need to try and refocus them um, and, and, and we just got them together and said right there's going to be a change Lox is coming off Berkey's coming on we need to do this for him I said it I think I said it then after four or five minutes we do it for him now it's you've got to re, you know focus I just think I spoke about focus and in that moment I didn't really know what to think you just do and you just act so it was a case of getting all the lads away and focus on the job at hand and full credit to the players they did um, and then I'm probably you know I was thinking on the side wow you know captains had to go off after four or five minutes it's not going to be our day so the players you know the way they responded was was brilliant Yeah. Circumstances, and then to come up against He did. Berkey's a really good player, and it's been a difficult decision actually leaving leaving him out, but. Himself and Gabe have had one or two injury issues over the, the last few months and um, that's really why he's been out of the team and the other lads have done great. So uh, I have a lot of confidence in, in Reese Burke. So I had no real worries about doing that. It's just taking the heartbeat, you know, the middle, that, that leader out of, the, out of the back three. But Gabe's done that for us, Gabe Osho. And um, like I said, it was a little rejig and, and right, off you go. You just, you've got to go and do it. But we've got full confidence in Reese Burke. He's a really good player. Say it again, sorry. Probably not, no. So for him to do it, you know, when it really, really mattered and, and counted, um, huge credit to the players for the, the control, the, to control their emotions. Because let's let's be honest, we could all step up and take a penalty in front of an empty stadium, and but what they must have been feeling, I can't imagine it. Um, incredible. We had done a lot of practice, and we're probably able to do more than Coventry because we've known for three weeks, longer than them at least, that that we were going to be in the playoffs. So we've, a lot of research and work has been going into that, not just the taking of the penalties, the where we all need to be, the different stations, the you know where we're going to try and stand. You know, the the breaths when you put the ball down, 
Um, we knew the order as soon as the final whistle went, the order was done, even with the changes that we'd made. So that it, we were, we felt very, very organised and prepared for that moment. Um, so I know, you know, myself and Richard both worked at the FA. There's a lot of work that the FA have put into on the penalty side. You know, speaking to a lot of other people who've been in part of playoffs and, and penalties and stuff as well and getting their footage and, and leaning on their experiences, we did that. Uh, and, you know, in the end, yeah, it was a, a perfect shootout for us. <laughs> a bit numb. Just made sure I went and shook Mark's hand and, um, and his staff. I don't want to be that guy that just starts running off and, and celebrating before seeing the other manager. So um, I just felt quite numb. I still do. I don't think it's really settled in, you know, settled in quite yet. Um, yeah, it might take a few days, but I'll, you know, it's great. It, it does feel good. Again, it was it was mixed because of locks. I, I really feel that's why I couldn't really go for it. Maybe just in a different rob, celebrating. Um, couldn't quite do that. Yeah, of course. That, that, yeah, delighted. Uh, I've been crying live on TV when I saw that. So, yeah, that was yeah. No. <laughs> Gary will probably try and grab me at some stage tonight to have a, a talk about players and what we do in the plan, but um, I'm not sure you'll get much sense out of me tonight. I might be starting that. Is Neymar's available in it at the moment? I might start asking for stupid things. So, um, nah, look, we'll, we'll enjoy it. There's a, I think there's been there's obviously been a lot of work going on Championship, Premier League. I've not really allowed myself to focus on the Premier League targets, and it, I've just focus more on the championship stuff and we had a good plan there there is work the recruitment team being done a lot of work behind the scenes on the Premier League stuff so I'll, I'll get up to speed quickly with that and um, yeah we will have to act quite quickly um, you know there's probably work starting on the stand right now as we speak so there's there's a lot of work that needs to be done just going straight back <laughs> just starting to pull things down love it